This is the Indesit W133 against the Amica washing machine. Let's see if they both power up together. No, something's wrong. Then I'm having a bit of trouble. Indesit does not want to go. Better get over on its side and have a look. So there's something fatally wrong with that Indesit. I think we're going to have to swap it for a Dyson instead. Oh, so there we go. I think we might just have lost power on that one, and maybe on this one too. So let's set them up and see if they go again. You want more? Okay, so I've set them both back up. Let's have a look. The Dyson took a really big blow at the start there, but inside it's lost its paddles. It's still spinning. The Amica lost a paddle as well, and it's still spinning. So let's see if I turn them on, what happens.
Okay, so it looks like the Dyson died because its plug came out. And I think that's an issue we're going to have here. So I need to get a better way of plugging these in. I think I'll get a better cable. I think we'll have another race. Okay, I don't know what round we're up to, but I guess it's about round three. I'm gonna do a double brick again. I've got it wired up differently. I think they should both work. Let's plug them in. Two together this time. Yeah, we're off. It looks like there's smoke coming off the Dyson. finished it but why did it finish it is it off yeah okay maybe we're done a lot of destruction there let's plug it out So both times there we seem to lose the motor rather than losing a belt. The Dyson's still hanging on. The bearings are still working. We might have lost a cable inside. It's worth keeping a look out. This one, we have Mika. Pretty beat up again, but it's fallen off a spring there. Belt is still on. Ah, we've just lost power on this one. Let's get that back together. Okay, this one should work again. I better get another cable tie on there. Hold that tight. And then this Dyson. more complicated to get into I'll need a screwdriver let's get into it okay I've got the Amica here I've put the wiring back on and held it on with the cable tie let's see that's working that's a start likewise in here on the back of the Dyson looks like I lost a little jumper cable now which one did that go on I think it went in here that's just bad luck and there's nothing stopping that happening again I've got them cable tied on, but I hadn't got the jumpers cable tied on, so it must have caught on something. But uh, it's back on now, so let's plug that in and see what happens. Ready? Yes! That's it working. Okay, let's get going again. We're all wired up for another round. It's looking pretty chaotic around here.
contact. I don't know what happened there, but a lot of dust came off this machine. It looks like it's smoking out the top. Moving. Something there. Whoa, there's a lot of dust. That one appears to have something on fire in it. This one, don't know what happened there. Whoa, look in there. Complete tub smash. Let's get it plugged out. I think we've lost the electricity, so I think these are going to go again. Plugged out. Check this power back on again. So we blew the fuse in the house. Tripped the Residual current device. Oh, I don't think this is going to go again. Look at that. That metal looks pretty bad. Nope, that tub is completely seized. Okay, this one's a write-off. A write-off. Pretty excellent write-off, I've got to say. Really got to say. Let's plug that out. Okay, so looking at the back of the Dyson, I'm plugged in, it's all hanging out, it's lost all its suspension struts. But it's still there, let's see if it goes. Let's see how we do. Ready? Oh yeah! So it's a Dyson CR01. I'm gonna throw another brick in it, see what happens. Dunno. What I suspect though, if it's the electricity that's gone. It's just that we're getting an earth fault because there's a, an earth cable there hanging loose and if it somehow gets in touch with something that shouldn't, maybe that's what's going wrong. Let's check this power again. So we lost power again in the house. I think that's because we've got an earth leak. So I think that stray earth cable there is getting lost, doing damage. Maybe um, it could be something to do with these crushed cables here, though. We are plugged out, unplugged. We're not live. It could be, it could be this little chaos here. What I'm going to do is cut this cable off, this earth cable, and that way it might not be a problem anymore. I'll do that. But it can't, it can't interfere if it's not working, if it's not there. Let's just check all the other cables are still on. They feel all right. They look all right and they feel all right. So let's line it up again and try again. Okay, so this is the Dyson CR01. Let's try plugging it in again.
It looks like we just lost the belt that time, so I'll put the belt back on and give it one last go. Once the belt starts coming off, you know you're not going to get very far. We've also got a crushed cable here. That doesn't seem to affect it. So the belt came off that time, plug it in, let's get it up to speed, it's still going, every time I start it up there's like a big cloud of dust coming off it. And then we'll chuck a brick in it again. Live this time I don't know what's happened there have we crushed we've crushed through a cable I can see so the machine might be live let's plug it out I think I can put this back together and we can go again let's get in and have a look first so we're plugged out not live oh god that's a heavy machine and yeah it looks like Looks like I've damaged my pliers. It looks like that brown cable and this blue cable have been chopped. So we better get them back together and go again. Okay, I've rewired it, put it all back together again. Don't know if it's gonna go, but just plug it in and see, hey? Contact. I have a feeling this is gonna be the last one. So if it keeps going like this, it's just gonna take forever. It's really tedious to put back together. Because there's nothing holding it in anymore. It just keeps, it's just gonna keep falling apart. Let's have a look at the guts on around the back. It's all hanging out there. Get a brick. smash let's check it out isolated from the supply let's take a look oh my god this is a heavy machine what has happened check the power cord all looks okay up here that was my fixed job we just lost another one here. Put that one back in. I think it goes here. I might get one more go out of it. It's starting to completely fall asunder though, so I'm getting kind of fed up with it. I'm gonna put it back up, we'll do it again. There's no point in stopping.
point in stopping. Right, this one keeps going. It's a pretty good machine, this Dyson. Let's plug it in and see if it's got life. Oh man, just won't die. Look at the dust coming off it. The clouds are grey, you can't really see them as well on the camera, but man, there's a lot of dusty, smoky stuff coming off that machine. Right, one more brick. in that one epic wow am I gonna call it quits or I'm gonna look again oh, I think I have to look again right let's isolate it from the supply again get up set back up and have a look and see what's wrong with it might have chewed through my extension cord doesn't look to have power's still on If I leave it on its side, would it work better? That's the brick out. There's the power cord. It looks okay. Oh, it does look knackered. My own extension lead there. Not great, I'll have to just keep it for washing machine type enterprises. So then in here to the electricity, yeah, we've just lost this blue one again. Doesn't like staying on this one. Okay, bluey, in you go. The other ones all look okay. Get that sponge out of there. And uh, we'll leave it outside this time, try again. What do you think? Okay, will it run again? It must be on to 10 rounds by now. I won't know until I edit it together. I've lost track. Oh yeah.
Oh, clunk. Died with a clunk. Oh, hang on a second. Let's try turning it on again now. Oh, yes. come off there. One motor is completely stuck. Okay, so the belt came off and they're tangled up in this stuff here. I've just plugged it out and uh, this motor here then was trying to start but it was getting braked. What I think happened before there, look at the belt's all twisted on that. Okay, might be able to get another go out of it. I'm inclined to try. I think what happened there earlier on was that the gearbox became disengaged because the front and the back weren't spinning together. The back was spinning and the front wasn't. We've lost Dyson's ballast. Now, I would be inclined to throw this in, except it's so heavy because it's cast iron that I think it won't work. So I'll set that aside. Very heavy. Let's try and get this belt back on. I'm not looking forward to it. of the way it is. Let's try and pull this back in. Oop. Get this sponge out of here because that's what was causing the belt to slide off and then if I can roll it up on one side maybe. Yeah okay that's a start. back this way, roll the belt around, can you see what I'm doing there, let's get right in there, yeah that's better, still a brick in it, it doesn't help me, okay get the belt off, maybe it's a better, better way to start, put it onto one pulley, put it onto the other pulley, I have a feeling we're gonna go again. Right, let's get it steadied up. So now, all being well, let's plug it in and see it should just go. No ballast this time on the... Well, oh, actually... Yeah, no ballast this time. I've not seen one last this long. You know, I've got to say, Dyson, made one hell of a tough machine. Right. Contact. Man, this is crazy. It doesn't even need a brick.
it's unplugged. I've got a feeling it's just a power issue again. This is just going to keep happening. I kind of feel like it's worth trying though. What have we done? We've lost our live from the connector block. Very strange. Okay. And we've lost our neutral from up there. So two things together conspired against us this time. Let's get them back together. We've lost that live off here too. Can we see? So the live down here has come off as well. It's a bit of a bashed up one this, but it just won't die. That brick was too much for it, I'll put in a half brick next time. So where's this going? Up here, I think. That's it. That should do it. Let's get this power cord attached. Man, I've seen better days already. I've seen better days. I thought I was running out of steam with this machine, but no, somehow I can keep doing it. It just keeps giving. Okay, let's go back, turn it around, try it again. Oh, the face has completely fallen off now. Well, not completely, it's hanging on by a thread. Okay, one more, ready, steady, oh man, half a break this time, hey, oh, I need it. Just lost the belt. Let's try and get it back in. Oh god. Yeah, there we go. Right. The motors are still going, they're still going. That's good. Let's get this belt back on again. Everything's a bit sketchy in here. Belts on. I never thought this machine would last this long. I thought it would have some catastrophic failure and just die. But if you could get another one like this, you're doing pretty good. Hang on a sec. Oh no, there's something wrong with that. Feels like it's stuck. No, it's not stuck. Let's try it again. Get this belt back on. There we go. Okay. 
Hey. I think that'll do it. Right. Should be plugged in over there. Let's plug it in over here. Let's see how we go. There's no brick in it, but there's a load of dust and other bits and bobs. Ready? Contact. Oh, Why won't you die? Sounds like gearbox trouble again. Let's see. Sounds like it's working again. It's like it disengages and just needs to be reset. Okay, let's take this thing out of it. Let's take out all of this stuff. again. Okay. Ready, steady, go. Ooh, even faster. Or has it just disengaged again? Sounds like gearbox trouble. I'm surprised there's anything left in this. Yeah, there it's, it's engaged again there now, but it just pops off over time. So I think what I'll do is I'll go for a quick smash on this one and see if we can just get it over with. Otherwise, we're just going to go back and forth. Okay, near the end now, I suspect. Power. Going for a break. in again. It's clunking in and clunking out. There's not much I can do for it I don't think. Oh dear oh dear. 
let's have a thorough look at this machine see what's actually failed on it because it's taken a lot of abuse right <laughs> well, I gotta get a glass of water first I think <laughs> that was probably the longest smash in history Wow look at the carnage didn't just pieces didn't just fall off they pulverized themselves epic destruction Yikes. Look at that. Look at that. It's still running like the motor's still running, the drum's still turning, the gearbox is still free. You know what? The contra rotation might even have started up on it again. It's been so well so well tippy tapped. Oh maybe it's seized actually. Oh, let's try that. I've got anything to hold on to. Do you know what? Not far wrong. Look at this. Tub and the outer tub, almost free. Oh. See that yellow strip here? Just watch the little holes. Man, it's all bashed in there. Look. Yikes! What a machine! What a machine! I think the tub itself is seized, or the drum itself now is seized. Contra rotation is freed up a little bit, but it's quite seized. I'll get a glass of water. We'll have a good look around and call it a day, I think. Holy moly, what destruction we've had. This is the aftermath of the Dyson CR01 smash. Look at this machine. That's the fascia, that's the inner ring, circuit boards, cables, suspension springs, the yellow on the ground, the little bits, there are the paddles, another suspension spring, the door, the fascia from the soap drawer, some sound dampenings over there, lots of bits of plastic. Oh dear, I'm exhausted. This machine went the whole 20 rounds deserves every medal it could get for longevity and in the end the only thing that failed was the gearbox gearbox contra rotator unit that failed both motors they'd still keep going no problems there they're still working they look the wiring's shocking but they're still going what kept happening was that the drum would slip out of gear and so this would keep spinning but it would uh, disengage from the drum and what that means is then that or what what I had to do then was stop it start it again and then eventually it just died completely it's pretty much seized now let's take a look around the other side funnily enough the top has stayed attached soap drawer it's just hanging in there we lost the ballast off the bottom I'd already removed it off the top it isn't live, I've plugged it out. So there's the contra-rotating drums. And just there, before I went inside, you can see that these are, the back one is about to rotate slightly. Okay, there they're both spinning together there. They're both spinning together now. Let's just plug it in again and see what happens. It might be dead. It might just pop out of gear again. Yeah, so that's it. It popped out of gear again there. See, they're not spinning at the same speed. It's hopped out of gear again. Oh, it's a, lot of dust. it's a lot of dust off it, and I think that's the corrosion from the spiders inside. Yikes! 
current machine. I wonder now that it's had all that abuse, could I split the tub and have a look at the contra rotation mechanism, have a look at the gearbox. I might do that for another video later on. Might be worth having a look at it. Look at the name there, even Dyson. This is one to get framed. Put this up on the wall somewhere as the longest, the longest uh, destruction in this channel's history. Yikes. There's the motors there, holding on. So we lost the whole of the, well, most of the fascia. Look at the buckle in the side of that. It's completely buckled off. Look at the battering this has taken here. It's all smashed up. Look at the underside of it, completely smashed up. That back lip there on the metal. Look at it, it's pounded out of shape. That's where the motors have kept bashing away in there. Lost that sound into insulation there. We haven't done so bad upside there. Lost all four shockers. Like they didn't just break, they completely snapped off. You know, normally these things they just break off at the bottom or the top, but these just completely smashed off. Lost the suspension springs. They're lying on the floor around me. But the solid unit inside, if it wasn't for Dyson's corrosion filled drums this machine could have been a success this is durable beyond belief don't know if two motors had anything to do with it but that that's a piece of engineering that is wow what a machine this is excellent yikes look at this shocking shocking thanks for watching see you later